I'm Troy, obviously, the producer and director of TRT, and I'm going to stand here with our friend Rob from Dangerous Man, and we're going to we're going to talk about some of his more unique beers. And unfortunately, my beard is not. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, right. I got this wheat goatee thing going on. Um, so, anyways, what's uh, can you explain to me what I'm about to drink here? Because this, this is a, yeah. yeah okay. So this one I just poured for you is an imperial golden ale. Uh, it's an American style ale. Mm-hmm. It's a big golden ale, about seven and a half percent. And we add 20 pounds of rose petals, red rose petals, to the kettle, into the boil, at the end of the boil, mm-hmm. just to extract some of the flavor, aroma, and not not get much of the astringency from the roses. So mm-hmm. it's a quick extraction. Not many people brew with flour, so it's kind of a unique thing to be using. Totally. And, and what do, uh, do they add much of aroma, do you notice, to the... A little aroma. It's more on the flavor. Okay. Um, it almost lends like a Belgian estuary kind of note to the beer. A lot of people think it's a Belgian style, but it's really a really simple American golden ale with, and yeah. we let the roses really shine through. I would have guessed that it's a Belgian ale. That tastes like Isn't a Belgian it? golden ale. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's really unique. Um, it's one of our kind of more popular seasonals we do. We do it every, once a year, usually around uh, Valentine's Day. So that's actually a really awesome uh, seasonal that no one ever really yeah. pays attention to. Yeah, it's super Day. unique. Yeah. Wow, that's, just, that's incredibly drinkable too. What's ABV on this? I think it's about 7.5. So it's a bigger beer. It's a little bit drier too, which yep. is nice. You dry it out, yeah. Not too uh, thick, you know, easy drinking. Mm-hmm. I could easily drink a six pack of this on Valentine's Day. Not that's that you guys awesome. have six packs, right. but a growler. Awesome, man. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Okay, um, what else do we have here? You have. So, uh, uh, well, a couple beers that we're really well known for that I, you know, like people to hear more about is our mm-hmm. peanut butter porter. Okay. Um, and then our chocolate milk stout down here. I'll start with the peanut butter. It's kind of our most popular beer right now. Mm-hmm. I love to drink it. I drink it all the time I'm here. Mm-hmm. It's one of those, it's really unique. Um, you, want to, you should just take a little, just to get... Just wet the whistle. Yeah. The aroma <laughs> alone is okay. really, really amazing. So... Oh yeah, that... You get a nice... Sounds um, like a Nutty Buddy or something yeah, on the nose. Yeah, you get a nice roasty chocolate but then in, at the core is the peanut butter mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kind of shines through huh. they should make candles that smell like this hey, right yeah, yeah that'd be a good I'd candle actually sell that yeah it's a good idea um so oh that is good yeah it's got that you know right away you get the nice roast that hits you mm-hmm. um but it's not not bitter roast it's a really smooth it's a, just enough to kind of help balance out the sweetness exactly. in there exactly that's what i'm going for i really use a lot of dark malts but really try to be selective and use ones that have very little astringency and very little bitterness okay. yeah um, so i really want that heavy roast backbone in this beer like you said to balance that kind of peanut butter sweetness and then that's a well-balanced peanut butter beer and that's a sentence i don't get to say very often right. yeah it's not one you <laughs> no they don't hear that very often no yeah and it's it's because a lot of times when breweries do like kind of kitschier beers like a peanut butter, they mm-hmm. go too deep in the peanut right. butter. And yep. this is something that's peanut butter, it's flavorful, but you can drink a growler of it. It's exactly. Not, it's not palate fatiguing. Like the flavor is there, there's no hiding it, but it's not so intense that you're going to be. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not, not drinkable. It's know? not like you're just eating peanut butter straight from a jar. Exactly. Yeah. It's subtle um, enough, and I think it, it blends really well with that roast, that mm-hmm. heavy roast and the sweet peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, a, that's an amazing beer. You did a phenomenal job. Thank on you that. very much. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank sure. you. Next one here, this is kind of one of my babies that I kind of came up with as a home brewer. Mm-hmm. Uh, chocolate milk stout. So it's a, you know, it's a milk stout, which is a sweet stout. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a style. And, uh, so you both use cocoa and lactate in it, correct? Lactose, yep. Lactose, my apologies. Yep. So, um, Science terms. <laughs> right. I'm a camera guy. <laughs> yeah, so this one... And we're kind of going more for the milk chocolate flavor as, as opposed to the dark, dark roasty chocolate. And we kind of talked about this earlier too. I like, what I like about your approach to style is a lot of times people go for that heavy roasted straight up coffee. Yep. And that, not that that's a bad style, but no. it's been done a ton. And exactly. that milk style is kind of an underappreciated style. For and there's sure. by all means brews that, that, that do it well. But, yep. You know. Yeah, I really like the style because it's, it's a stout. It's nice and dark. It has great flavor, but it's also like it's a little thinner. It's easier to drink. It's not a heavy, lighter full body. body. You know? Yeah, it's a bit more oily on the tongue and whatnot. Yep, and that uh, lactose, you know, it stays sweet in there. Um, it's one of our sweeter beers that we have, but I think it really also, like I said, lends well with that the roasted malt. We don't we don't use quite as much roasted malt in this one, but quite a lot. 
and you same. Get a, you get auto roast on the finish, otherwise it's very milky yep. all the way through, Chocolate. right up until that end, mm -hmm. where I get most of the roast. Yep, exactly. Maybe I'm making that up, I don't know. No, for sure, that's what we're kind of going for. Let the roast kind of linger. Let the chocolate really come forward and dominate. Mm -hmm. and the aroma on that's really nice. Well, you've managed to make three phenomenal beers here. Thanks, I appreciate man. you sharing them with us, and uh, sure. I hope you enjoy them at home.